Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the Collider User Tracker. This was added in a recent ES update by the team, and it's helpful for culling areas of your map which are not uh, in use by the player. What do I mean by this? Well, let's say you had uh, the lobby of a hotel and also a room on, say, the 20th floor of the hotel. You don't need to render any of the uh, the lobby or the lobby systems, the lobby's logics or components, etc. If they're on the 20th floor, like you, you, there's no need to. They're, they're up there, they're not going to see it, etc. Now, Neos does do some of this for you, and it won't render stuff to your uh, graphics card if you're not near it or looking at it, etc. But this helps out on more than just the rendering of the, uh, of the 3D data. It helps out on the objects within that area, etc. So I'm going to show you how to set up the Collider User Tracker in a very contrived example, which is in this world here, and uh, hopefully it should give you an example of how to use it. I'll also talk about um, areas where you should and shouldn't use it, and how to avoid um, some problems that might occur when you use it. So let's get started. So I'm in this world, um, which is called Collider User Tracker Base. You can find it in my public folder under Tutorials Physics Collider User Tracker. And you'll see that there are two rooms. In this room, we've got the um, Rings Anomaly from uh, Gearbell's public folder and uh, the Planet Earth from uh, Neos Essentials. And then over this bridge, in this first room, we've got a spawn area, uh, a picnic table, and a chest of drawers. And so what we want to do is uh, make it so that when we are not in the room behind us, it's completely turned off. And when we are not in the room that we're now in, it's completely turned off. And that used to be complicated using a lot of sort of logics or um, components or those together, such that, you know, users wouldn't uh, uh, get stuck between two states, etc. But it's now been made a lot more easier using the Collider User Tracker. So we're going to set one up here. This isn't a good example, but it is a uh, basic enough example for you to play around with the component a little bit. The reason behind this is because I can see into each room through the doorway. Um, when you're using the Collider User Tracker, you'll usually want some sort of visual um, delay or obstacle that the user uh, is, you know, passing through such that they don't notice the pop-in of objects that are in or out of the collider area. So for example here, you could use a corner or maybe an actual door that they have to open before stuff is rendered, or like a flat of stairs or something like that. Just something, or even teleportation, which uh, does quite a good work there. You'll notice the uh, collider user tracker in use in two MNC entries actually. It's used in Golem Gauntlets by Turk and various other people and also laser beam by myself. Uh, when you're in the arena of the laser beam, the spawn room uh, doesn't render. All right, so let's get this set up. So the only thing you're gonna need for this is your uh, developer tooltip. With that equipped, we're gonna first of all make it work with the uh, room behind us, which is the first room here. So what we're gonna do here is select the room and you can follow along at home if you just go to that public folder, which is uh, my public folder, Tutorials, Physics, and then Collider User Tracker. And you'll see it in there as base, which is the one that isn't set up. Now this room has a somewhat complicated hierarchy because of a pivot required from the 3D model we use. These come, uh, the rooms themselves come from the Creator Jam public folder. So you'll see here that we've got a room and that inside the room there's the visual of the room, which is the walls and the floor, etc. And then there's two models, which are the, uh, par uh, the park bench and the chest of drawers. So what I want to, want to do is make it so that when we are not in this room, it doesn't render or it's turned off. So how do we do that? We go to the top here where it says room one pivot. This is the sort of global part of the hierarchy that represents the entire room. It's also centered with the pivot use um, there so that we don't have to worry about offsets or anything. And we're going to go ahead and attach a component. Now the uh, collider user tracker requires a uh, collider to uh, identify whether a user is inside or not. So we're actually going to create one. Um, you can sometimes use the colliders that already exist in the geometry of your world, but I recommend making a separate one because you can play with it a little bit and uh, be a bit more lenient, and I'll show you how that works. So if you go to physics, colliders, box collider, and then we hit the set from local bounds here, it will create a collider of the size of the room, essentially. We then need to change this collider to a trigger collider, and then go to the bottom here and do attach component, utility, oh, not utility, sorry, we're in the wrong folder here, physics, utility, collider user tracker. And you'll see here that we get collider user tracker added, and you'll see uh, a number of checkboxes, including is local user inside, is any user inside, and number of users inside. And this is currently set to nothing because I'm not inside it. But if I walk forwards and enter the room, you'll now see that is local user is inside is checked, is any user is inside is checked, and number of users inside is one. 
You'll also see that there is a list of users beneath this of the users who are inside the room. If I go back out of the room and bring my inspector with me, you'll see that these turn off. So now, is any user inside, number of users inside, and also the users inside list or bag, as it's called here, um, are synced and are global, but is local user inside is different depending on uh, the local user. So it's different for each user. So if you're inside it, it would be on. If I wasn't inside it, it would be off. And what that allows us to do is use it to turn on and off the room. So to do that, we're just gonna use a simple value copy. I'll put a link in the video description to a value copy, but uh, what we can do here is go to attach component, transform drivers, value copy T, value copy bool. And what we're gonna do here is copy the is local user inside by grabbing is local user inside, dropping it into the source. And then we're going to grab the word room one, turn to the right here and trigger, and grab its active property here at the top and put that into the output. And now you'll see here that the room has completely disappeared, which may be alarming. And this is what I talk about when I mention pop in, right? So if I continue walking forward, you'll see it pops in. Now, like I said, using a corner, a door, an escalator, a teleporting, a flight of stairs or something like that is a better way of doing this. But what we're going to do is we're going to just extend the collider outwards a little bit towards me such that um, it, the room will turn on before I even get to the room. So here we're just going to go to the X property of the collider here, which is 18 currently, and we're going to change it to, let's say, 20. Now you'll see that the pink square, which represents the collider and the room, is now extending on our, onto our walkway a little bit. Let's make this just a little bit more. We'll go for 24. And now you'll see we're sort of a quarter away on our walkway. So what Mason means is, as I'm walking on my walkway, the uh, room will load before I get to the actual room. So again here, if you had, say, an automatic door or something set up so like only the front wall was rendering until you're in the collider, it would be a lot better. But this is just a contrived little example here. We can now turn around and do the same for the room over here. So to do that, we're going to copy exactly the same steps. We're going to inspect the room, go up to the top. You'll see room to pivot. On room to pivot, we're going to go ahead and attach a component. Physics colliders box collider set from local bounds. So you see it's set to 18 again. We're just going to set that to, I think it was 24. Oh, I didn't set it to trigger, which means I might have difficulty selecting it. But if we set it to trigger now, we won't. Um, there'll be more information on colliders coming up. They're very, um, very useful, but they have a lot of sort of quirks to get used to. So look forward to a video series on colliders coming soon. So here we're going to again uh, attach off uh, Collider user tracker. Sorry, it's a mouthful that component, but it is very useful. So physics, utility, collider user tracker. And then we're going to attach our value copy again. So transform drivers, value copy T, value copy bool. And then we copy the is local user inside by grabbing it and dropping it in. Grabbing room two, bring it to the right here and dropping in active. And there we go. Oops, uh, let me double check that collider. Strange, maybe I wasn't in walk run. These colliders here will only work when you're in the physical locomotion or walk run here. So now you'll see when I'm in this room, the uh, Furniture here loads, the desk, the uh, chest of drawers, but the other room does not load. And when I walk across, you'll see this room loads. And what this means is that uh, your computer and anyone else in the world, for example, is not rendering or updating the, the values at play here. One of the reasons we in I included the uh, anomaly by Gearbell here is that it, there's a lot of sort of synchronization going on here. Each of these um, elements are, you know, rotating and, and, and changing, etc. Now there isn't, um, I'm not actually sure how the, the, the anomaly works itself, but that isn't happening when you're not in the room because it's turned off to uh, inactive. The same thing here goes for this uh, Earth model here, which has a very subtle animation of the cloud cover moving across the planet. That won't be being calculated or updated when you're not in the room. 
Again here, showing the uh, pop in here. You know, it's obvious there's a there's a problem here. So again, a, uh, a corner, a flight of stairs, teleportation, an escalator, something like that to avoid the pop in. Something else you could consider doing is making it so that only the um, items in the room don't render, and that the room itself renders, as the room itself isn't that um, detrimental to the performance of the world. So the way you do that is you would parent everything in the room to a slot, which would return. Uh, you turn off when no one was in the uh, in the collider, and the same for the room over here. You could try setting it up using this model as a base. Once again, that is in my public folder under Tutorials Physics User Collider Tracker. There are a couple of bugs with this um, component, but they should be fixed by the time you watch this. Or if not, check uh, keep an eye on the Neos Update channel as there will be uh, there'll be some updates on this coming soon. I know we are. Uh, Unfortunately, broke a uh, an MMC entry by uh, uh, recording a bug that both um, Turk and I were experiencing with the uh, collider. I just didn't I'll get on the on the feedback. So I didn't have time, but yes, it should be fixed by the time uh, you watch this, or if not, uh, check those update channels. Don't overuse this component as well. Um, there could be a, you know a tendency to use it in basically every scenario, and that would be an incorrect way to do it. Like don't micro optimize your world; only do it for large areas of the map that makes sense for it to happen in. Hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, do let me know. This is a new component, so we're still exploring ways to use it and how to use it more effectively. So there may be updated information later. But for now, this is a simple example of how it works, so that you know how it works and you can try it out yourself. I will save the setup copy of this world to uh, my tutorials folder as a setup base. So you'll see Collider User Tracker base as a world orb and Collider User Tracker setup next to each other inside that folder I keep mentioning. I'll see you next time. Bye.